Hello, hello. Welcome back to Lenny Plans. I'll be doing another plan with me uh, today and I'm filming a plan with me for week 17 of 2022. I'm going to be using a kit from Sarah Beth Plans. Um, it's the Spring in the Countryside uh, B6 Wonderland 222 kit and I've got um, the holographic foil option. Um, you can choose your, your foil options with her kits. Um, which I love and um, just with all the colors on this one I decided to opt for the holographic I just felt like it fit really well um, I have chosen this kit for the coming week specifically because it is meant to rain all week and I just needed a little bit of color um, so yes I'm hoping that uh, brightening up my planner will um, help me forget just how much rain there is expected to be outside um, I've been keeping my Wonderland inside uh, a Mumsy and Bub um, cover. I'll pop a link to her, her shop below. Um, I think there's still some of these available. Uh, it's a vegan leather and um, it actually, you can see she's super chunky. Um, she fits my, my planner, which is chunking up very nicely. I've got a notebook in there. I've got my sticker book from Sakura Mochi design co and i also have um these uh by viva color watercolor sheets um so i use these sorts of things inside my journal which i don't really show you guys because it's mostly um stream of consciousness type stuff so um it's personal and it's not um honestly probably not super interesting to anybody else anyway it's just me processing my thoughts from the day um and i keep I always keep a, a cloth with that um, and I have a water brush inside the pencil case that I carry with me as well. Um, I've also got some little uh, washi cards um, also from Sakura Mochi Design Co and they've got just a selection of um, washi tapes. Um, inside here I've got some more washi tape cards and my Hobonichi um, template that I carry with me which you guys will have seen heaps of times before um, so yeah that is what I have been housing it in this week while I've been um, mostly at home um, so I have the, where I'm filming um, and where I usually film is actually in my office which is a slightly separate building um, it's not very far it's just separate um, from the rest of the house um, and so I do a lot of my crafting down here um, and so yeah, I'm often taking my, my bits and pieces between this um, studio and the, the main house. Um, and so it's nice having it all together. When I'm out and about um, during term time, sorry, she's so chunky, she makes the whole thing shake. <laughs> um, I don't tend to carry all of this in one. I'll often just sort of choose one or the other. Um, if I'm looking for light space, just sort of depends. Um, I like flexibility. But yeah, so... Um, before I get into, um, planning out next week, I'll give you a flip through of the week that has been. Okay. So, um, this is my week 16. Um, Hopefully you can see that okay. Um, so Monday was um, uh, Easter, Easter Monday, which is a, a holiday here in Australia. Um, and so we just had quite a, a, a quiet day, actually. Um, I was doing some research on air fryers. I feel like I'm a couple, couple of years behind on that. I think the whole world has been doing air fryers uh, since <laughs> COVID lockdowns. Um, but we, we finally picked one up and so we were just having some fun with that. Um, I This week actually, I didn't even realize it was something that my, my Kindle app is tracking, but apparently I've actually read a hundred weeks in a row. Um, it caught my eye because of the, the, three, <laughs> the three digits. Oh, that was quite impressive. Um, to be honest, I, I actually do read a lot anyway, so I'm actually more confused about what was happening 101 weeks ago, because um, I, I think that that's probably the unusual one. Um, when I said that to my husband, he said that I was probably actually just reading a paper book <laughs> that week, um, and he's probably correct. Um, so yes, even he knows that I do read a lot, but um, still, I thought that was really cool, so I've, I've printed that out and stuck that in. 
Uh, on Tuesday, I did have some work in the morning. Um, oh, here, yeah, that's right. Yep. Monday night, um, hubby and I actually stayed up a little bit late to watch the new movie, The Kingsman. Um, and we've watched the other two in that series. Um, and this is the prequel and it was a lot of fun. Um, we really enjoyed that. So I didn't quite get enough sleep before work considering that I was meant to be working on Tuesday, but that's okay. Um, just had some errands to run, um, took my mum to the doctors, picked up some groceries. Um, the boys were a little bit like just crazy. Like they just obviously spent too much time inside and because we actually did have some sunshine that day as well. These were both taken on Tuesday. Like it was meant to rain, but like you can see the weather. It was just so pretty. Um, and yeah, so I took the, the boys to the beach. Um, I had a new pencil case arrive. Oh, I have it here. Um, it's not actually a pencil case. It is a makeup case because I have way too many coloring <laughs> pencils and Tombos and jelly rolls and flares and um so I always have trouble carrying them around I had like four different pencil cases one two three four four different pencil cases so I bought um a makeup case that fits it all in it's got the tie top um and yeah and it actually stands up so I can still you can see it's a little bit fiddly but um like still pretty good for carrying things around um, and then it can stand up and I can pull things out and put them back in so yeah anyway that is my random excitement <laughs> um, so yeah if ever you're looking for a pencil case and you do not have enough space or you don't think you'll have enough space definitely check out makeup cases because there's a, a few other options in there um, that's if you're stationary obsessed which I would assume you are since you're watching my channel um, <laughs> so yeah that's a really cool idea I just got that one from Amazon, I think. Um, I'll pop a link below um, if anybody's interested. Um, so yeah, if you want to know where I got it from, um, drop me a comment and I'll, I'll pop a link on there. Uh, on Wednesday, we traveled up to Sydney. So I live just south of Sydney. Uh, I did grow up in Sydney um, and it was actually really nostalgic for me to be traveling up and, and traveling through the center um, of the city. I, I loved living there. It was a beautiful place to grow up. Um, and even though I haven't lived there for about 11 years, it was something just still so familiar, um, and really felt like being at home, um, despite the crowds and the chaos, or maybe, maybe because of the crowds and the chaos. <laughs> um, anyway, so we went to the zoo, but we, um, traveled up by train and, uh, took a ferry across to the zoo itself. So, um, it was just a beautiful day. Um, here's a couple of the photos that I've chosen. There's the opera house that we saw from the ferry. And, um, then my boys on a giant gorilla statue, um, just being, just being cool little dudes. Um, so yeah, that was Wednesday. We were exhausted after that. Um, it was a huge adventure and we didn't get home till quite late. Um, so Thursday was supposed to be just like a, a quiet day in recovery. Um, I did sleep in uh, and I actually did a little bit of sewing. Um, I actually, I, I hate, I, I hate hemming. I think most people do. Um, and there are some pants some school pants for the boys that have needed to be hemmed for about two years. Um, and my old sewing machine, uh, broke probably a quarter of the way through one leg. And I just sort of put them aside and went, Oh, I just can't deal with that. Um, and I did end up repurchasing or purchasing a new uh, sewing machine, but I just haven't had time to kind of sit down and get acquainted with it. Um, so I did that on Thursday and it was amazing. I love it. Uh, it's a great little machine. I don't sew a lot, um, but it's nice to be able to just have something I can pick up and, and do a, a quick hem with or, or something like that. Um, so I actually managed to hem all the, all the boys' school pants um, on Thursday morning after setting that up. It was so satisfying to get a task done that I have been sort of migrating <laughs> month to month for a while. <laughs> um, we found out on Thursday that my husband's cousin who, um, grew up in Tasmania, but lives in Queensland, um, was traveling through her family had been visiting friends, um, in Tasmania for the holidays and they were traveling back up to Queensland and they were sort of here for like one night only. Um, so we popped over to my in-laws and, and spent some time with them and that was lovely. Um, 
I also did, yeah, just usual like meal planning and grocery shopping online. Um, I didn't get laundry done that day, but I did do it over here. Um, on Friday, I did some more sewing and I actually have a pair, <laughs> you can tell I'm not great with sewing usually. So this week is very exciting for me. Um, I have had a pair of pants uh, that I bought about two years ago and they were like five inches too long. So it wasn't just a straight hem. I really had to cut it and, and um, just the nature of the material, the ends had to be uh, sewed um, before I hemmed them. Um, so it was just a little bit more fiddly. Um, but you know what? On my new machine, it was beautiful. Got those done as well. So I felt like I was just ticking boxes. It was great. Um had to take mum to the doctor and pick up some groceries again. Uh, we had movie night and the boys watched DuckTales, like one of the movies from 1990. <laughs> um, it was great. <laughs> I love that movie. Um, Saturday, my hubby made a very nice stacked toast breakfast for us. And then uh, my eldest wanted to do some sewing because obviously he'd seen all that I had done. And so he um, he wanted to make a cape for his bunny rabbit um, so this is him and his bunny. Um, we sewed the, the tie on the front and just a trapezium um, piece of fabric and he hemmed it all himself. And it was really, it was really cute. Um, spent Saturday testing out some air fryer recipes. Found these delicious cauliflower spicy buffalo wings. Like they're not buffalo wings, they're cauliflower. But anyway. They were really good. Worked really well. Um, I will not be using baking paper, or at least the baking paper that I have, because it stole half the batter. But um, that's okay. You got to try a recipe once before you tweak it. Uh, today is Sunday. We had church this morning. Um, there was an amazing quote this morning. I I loved it. Worry is an invitation to trust. I just thought that was so good. I just have to remember that. <laughs> um. And then the boys have been invited out. So my eldest went to the movies with uh, one of the church families and then the youngest had a play date um, and we'll be picking them up um, in another hour or so, I think. So I've been doing planning and laundry and getting some things done. Um, and hubby and I went and had some lunch together, which was really nice. So yeah, you know what? It has been a really lovely week and really full and busy. Um, it's been great. So I know that I have talked through that really quickly, but I feel like there was just actually so much that happened. Um, so yeah, that is the week that was. Um, I've not done my my review or overview pages yet. Um, May doesn't start till next Sunday, so I have time. I have planned out um, the month. Um, I've kept it fairly simple. I'm not using loads of stickers or anything. I've just sort of done a different header. Um, but yeah, gives me an idea of what's coming. So I'm going to be planning out week 17, as I said, and using the spring in the countryside kit. So I'll pop on some background music and I hope you enjoy.
here we are. This is week 17 all planned out. Um, I'm really liking how bright and cheery this is. Um, you may have noticed I decided to use uh, the stickers, the weather stickers that have rain and sun. Um, we have seemed to have days where we've had both, like as you can see um, back on this day where it was supposed to be raining, there was still pockets of sun. So I'm kind of hoping that that's how it works out this coming week as well. Um, if nothing else, it looks prettier and it's much nicer to have a little bit of sun in there than to have just all rain. <laughs> so maybe I'm just being overly hopeful. I don't know. But um, yeah, so I, I decided to do that. Um, we've got Monday as a public holiday for Anzac Day. So I have the day off. Um Tuesday, uh, I'm back at school for a staff day. Uh, the boys don't go back until the Wednesday, but um, I will still be there. Uh, we do have music starting back for term uh, term two um, and work and Bible study on Wednesday, work and swimming on Thursday, school and youth group on Friday. Uh, we don't have any plans for Saturday at this stage, so we'll have some time to recover from the week that has been uh, first week back of term is often uh, really intense for my littlies. Um, they often need that sort of rest to recover. And um, I feel like their systems go into shock <laughs> a little bit. I'm um, just having to pay attention for so long. Um, and then Sunday we've got uh, church. I'm on attendance. And then we do have a church lunch afterwards um, just to hang out with our, our church family, our friends. Um, yeah. So I've got a few uh, tasks in um, at this stage, but I will be uh, doing more as I go. So that is the week to come. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed that and I hope that you have a lovely week, whatever you're doing. Um, take care and I'll see you next week so you can see how this spread turns out after the pen. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.